Hello, my name is Veer Animus of VA Games. Happy Thanksgiving, and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man X Episode 8. Next up on our chopping block is Armored Armadillo hiding in his little mine with his little mine carts and his stupid little bats. Everybody seems to love this level, and so do I, so I really can't complain. There's a lot to go over here, there's a lot hidden here, and this level is also the site of the game's most famous um, Easter egg, which I'll be getting to in a future episode, because unfortunately we do not have all of the requirements to collect it. The veterans of the crowd are going to know exactly what I'm talking about immediately, and everyone else is unfortunately just going to have to wait. In the meantime, let's talk about why this stage is as popular as it is, and we'll start with the music. If you took a small group of gamers over the age of 20 and asked them to compile a list of their favorite video game tracks of all time, you are guaranteed to get at least a few of them from this game alone. Capcom is world famous for creating infectious tracks for its video games, and Mega Man X is certainly no different. The Armored Armadillo stage theme is fast, it is energetic, it perfectly fits with the atmosphere, and deserves every spot it ever earned on a top 10 list of best video game tracks of all time. And although the music is phenomenal, and the level design is great, the minecarts were fun, those are really only secondary contributing factors to why this stage is as popular as it is. On a long enough timeline, everybody that plays this game will eventually come back to this stage in order to collect infinite lives and infinite amounts of health to refill their sub-tanks. Allow me to demonstrate. my case. Filling up your sub tanks has never been so easy in a Mega Man X game. And now I've gone on way too long about the level, we're already at the boss, Armored Armadillo. As I mentioned in the last video, Armored Armadillo is weak to the electric spark that we just acquired from Spark Mandrill, so if you use it on him even just one time, Armored Armadillo loses all of his armor and now he's just an armadillo. At this point he loses his ability to block your attacks, but most importantly, he loses his ability to absorb your charge shots, which is one of his most annoying features. If you attempt to shoot him with a charge blast from a uh, standard X-Buster, he will absorb it if he guards it. If he guards it, he has to guard it out. If he guards the blast, he will absorb it and release it as his own 8-directional blast attack. And it isn't all that damaging, it's not that hard to avoid, but it interrupts the flow of the battle. It makes it take a little bit longer than it really should, kind of like an, an artificial difficulty buffer, and Capcom has actually done that before. If you go back to one of the Mega Man Classic games, there was a, an enemy called the, uh, the Yellow Devil, and you were able to shoot it once, it was this massive thing that took up uh, one side of the screen, and you shot it once and it transported itself piece by piece to the other side of uh, the battlefield on the other side of Mega Man and you got an opportunity to shoot it one more time, and then you had to avoid all of its pieces as it moved back and forth between the stage. It was not very much fun, and it was kind of like an artificial difficulty thing, so I didn't appreciate that, and I don't appreciate this. Um, when you do put this guy down, and believe me, he will go down. If you're having trouble, just shock him. No one will judge you for it. There's no shame. So when you do put him down, you'll get his weapon, the Rolling Shield, which is the game's most unwieldy weapon. Um, as useless as this weapon is in combat, its secondary firing mode is actually really useful and a lot of Let's Players will use it to get themselves to the latter part of Cygnus Fortress 1, which is actually coming up in just about three episodes or so. And coming up next is Launch Octopus, and I hate that level, I hate that guy, but that's up next and I hope to see you guys there. Please enjoy your Thanksgiving, be safe, drive safely, enjoy football, and eat well. Thanks for watching.